this video, we're going to talk about how to increase the starting torque of an ATS-480 soft start. First things first, from your main menu, you'll need to go down into your complete settings. The first thing you want to do here is make sure that your motor settings are programmed correctly. Most importantly, the motor nominal current rating. If this doesn't match to your motor full load amps, then that's a big issue because everything is determined by this value alone. So once this is confirmed, go back out to complete settings, go down into start stop control. The first thing you'll notice is that you have a control mode setting in here and the options for control mode are voltage control or torque control. Now the default is torque control here and with torque control options you have the ability to adjust the initial starting torque along with the boost value. Initial starting torque is basically a value where you can adjust the amount of torque that's applied in initial start while the boost value is the amount of voltage that you apply at initial start as well. So they kind of work hand in hand. Now one thing I'll mention is that as a normal value for the voltage initial starting torque, the default is 20% and you have the option of going to 100%. Just be aware that you don't want to just max it out unless really necessary. So as a good rule of thumb, you can try to increase it a little bit at a time, maybe 50% first before we're going up any higher. And same thing with the boost. Uh, start around maybe uh, 20 or so percent of a jump. And as you notice, the default is set to no, but it will start from 50 and go up to 100%. So just start adjusting it you know, slowly and don't just max it out just because you can. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to change it to voltage control instead of torque control. As mentioned, uh, voltage control is better for some applications like fans and pumps as they don't need a lot of starting torque and it, run, it may run more efficiently if it's in that particular mode. So to do that, just go back to your control mode and make sure the voltage control is checked off here. And with that adjustment, now you'll notice you have the initial starting voltage instead of initial starting torque available. And the same idea, you have an adjustment range of up to 49%. And just be aware the minimum is 25 based on your voltage level. So again, we're doing a voltage boost here in a way as we change the control mode to voltage instead of torque mode. Other things that may be important as well is your ramp up time. Um, it, it wasn't mentioned before, but you know those are important settings to go over if your ramp up time is very very long then that might hinder your soft start from getting up to speed faster so having a 10 or 15 second time is usually nominal but in some cases you do want to ramp up faster meaning you have to decrease that acceleration value if you're still having any issues with the current draw or if you're just having a hard time ramping up in general that also may mean that some mechanical issues with your application or any kind of a significant voltage drops in line can cause your motor to pull more current which then will struggle. So all those things combined are the things I would look into for when you're having an issues in terms of uh, needing initial torque boost or voltage boost.